Hey, what's up, YouTube? So in my last video, I showed you basically how to start a multiverse city, which is Prospect City. Showed you how to start two types of population cities, which is Population Vista and Population Overlook. And Nugget Plateau to handle all the workload between these three cities. I also um, displayed a video on basically how to start an education system between first Population Vista and Population Overlook. And then to round it off, having Prospect City also visit Population Vista or, um, for education. So that way Nugget Plateau has a better industrial system. So basically some of you have commented on basically uh, what would happen to the industrial once uh, there's nowhere to ship the freight. And also some of you have asked what would happen to these population cities that have no commercials? How would I um, be able to maintain or uh, keep an income well some of these cities all already have uh, commercial systems going in so it's someone essential within your city once you go on but for now this is I think this will be a video on how to maintain four cities going on at once giving 10 minutes each city so this is gonna be somewhat of a four-part series so let's go ahead, being that we caused the ripple effect between all these three cities, let's go ahead and start Nugget Plateau and uh, see if we can fix this uh, situation going with some of the questions pertaining as to having industrials. So in the next eight minutes or so, I'm definitely going to be playing around here, doing some city planning. and doing a little bit of extra spending as you can see now my city has caused a big ripple effect that I have dropped from the 3000 that I was making down to 800 and this is due to the fact that I'm now taking a little bit too much of load of uh, visitors and people are coming in and using all of my services and as well, the power plant is now starting to cost me a little bit too much. As you can see, it's now 2250 to run. Do keep in mind that half of these um, buildings and stuff like that do take up money. Although they don't show, you end up seeing the cost here. So far, these, this utility is the lowest that I'm seeing. Make that the sewage plant. That's the lowest. Or it could be the water. But so far, this is the highest. So now that I'm slowly, gradually raising income, let's see if I can actually start building something to uh, alleviate the pain for me. Since I have the coal trade going, I saw that there was a little bit of ore going on over here. So I'll go ahead and plop one. Great. Now that I have that in place, I definitely want to start a trade. Because as some of you have been asking, what would happen to all the freight that goes on in these uh, in these industrials where would it go how would it get out to commercials that are in the following cities well good question well by now 
you should be at least making some income. If not, you might have to build a little bit more industrials. But being that I'm still making money, even though this is up and at least costing me 125 per hour, sooner or later this will start running and start mining some ore. I already have a lot of coal, and as you can see, it's filling up. So you can see that my coal power plant is not asking for too much. So now it's time for me to sell this. So now it's okay for me to go ahead and open up one of the following. It's either a trade depot or trade port. But do keep in mind to open these in regular mode, you are going to need a trade headquarters. So let's go ahead and put this in. Now I want to give a little bit of space so that way I'm able to upgrade my ore mining. But I also saw that I have a little bit of extra ore over on this side and I'm unable to build. But that's okay, because I still have one right here, and I'm able to fit this one very nice. So now that I'm done playing around, I'm actually going to start in building the trade. Cool. Now that I got that going, I'm going to add on a coal. And ore, just to keep it maintained. Now, as you see, this holds a storage of 16.2 crates of freight, so that's great. That now should means that my industrials have enough place of storage to fit, and if anything, I can add in another freight tri shipping, and it will now handle twice the load if I want to open up more industrial in which in case I might want to soon enough so being that I'm now losing 200 let's go ahead and start actually city planning on how I'm gonna be able to fit this workload so let's go ahead and open up more industrials Now keep in mind, being that this is set up on an old road, dirt road, these industrials will be very dirty. Now that I have everything in place, let's go check out how the other cities are doing. But I just want to make sure that everybody gets this in place. Now the question was, what would, it, would happen if all these industrials have no place to ship the freight? Well, now that I've opened a trade depot, all of the freight is now coming in here. And what this does is that it ships this freight out to all of the surrounding cities that may or may not have a trade depot. In Sandbox, it's okay that the other cities don't have a trade depot because basically this will do the job. And if you want to ensure that everything gets spread out separately, do put out, do put out more delivery trucks. If you're still not making any money and you have a lot of space and you're not going to block any of the surrounding trades for upgrades do plot more industrials also you also have to think in mind that these three cities will be now populating a lot of more sims and they're gonna need a lot of more jobs so you might have to plan out ahead of time on how to spread out your industrials evenly so that way there's enough jobs for everybody 
So this has been part one of the industrial section. Let's go ahead and move over to Population Vista.